what's happening everybody out here coming right at you from sunny southwest florida uh today i'm excited uh today i'm really happy uh, i've hired a tuner that's right i've hired a tuner and um but i'm already being asked al what took you so long uh there's a lot of reasons for that um i don't want to overstate the obvious as many people know already uh the 2011 when the coyotes came out uh, Tuna struggled a little bit to solve the problem of burning the number seven or number eight cylinder. I forget which one it was. And um, so it took some time for them to work that out. Uh, but they got it worked out. It just took a little bit of time. And uh, same thing with the 15s. The initial tunes, you know, made more power. But, uh, you know, there were drivability problems. And there again, the tuners had to work that out. And, and they got it worked out. It just took a little time. You know, pretty much common knowledge at this point. Um, so that was the, the initial reason uh, why I decided to wait. Um, but then, you know, the 18s come out and I'm on social media. Uh, I'm, I'm learning a little bit about the car and I'm finding out um, that the computer in the 18 is, is, is very different than the, uh, than the 15 to 17. Uh, it's got far more uh, complex control systems and stuff like that. And um, so the more I think about it, I think, you know what, let me wait. There's no rush. Uh, car runs good and I like it the way it is. I'll wait for the tuners to, to, to work out any bugs that may arise or, or whatever it is. And uh, this way I don't run into any problems uh, when, I, when I get to having the car tuned. And uh, quite honestly, uh, I've known all along uh, who I wanted to use to tune the car. Uh, you know, I, I've been on YouTube watching VMP site, uh, Tuning Tuesday and Burnout Box. And uh, I have to say, I have the utmost respect for VMP. They're a great company, and uh, I wish them all the best. They got great products. It's all good there. Uh, but no sooner do they come out with the tunes uh, for the 2018, I find out that Alondro Flores is leaving the, the company. You know, and I, at that point, I'm like, all right, well, <laughs> what am I gonna do now? Well, uh, took a couple of weeks, and as many of you well know, uh, Alex is now working for Lund Racing. And uh, I want to say, Alex, congratulations on that gig. I can't think of a better place for you to be than with Lund Racing. Uh, my feeling about Lund is that they're on the cutting edge of technology, and I think that's exactly where you need to be. So power to you, brother. That is awesome. And uh, honestly, that's where I, I want to be. Uh, I want to align myself with the people who are on the cutting edge. And I feel like, you know, uh, working with Lund is, is exactly the right thing to do. So I've made the contact with Lund, and uh, you know I've, my tunes are on the way and I'm really excited about this um, you know and uh, I understand that there's some data logging that I need to do and uh, I've never done anything like that so I'm kind of you know a little nervous about it but um, I'll get through it uh, you know if any of you guys out there got some suggestions any ideas or anything I need to know <laughs> you know let me know uh, uh, you know I could I could use your help and um, but I'm really looking forward to, to getting the tunes in the car and, and uh, you know, uh, getting everything straightened out. And when I have some results, um, I'm really looking forward to bringing it to you guys. So this is a very exciting day for me. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, to, to what's, what's to come. So, uh, so that's about a wrap for today, folks. Until next time, Coyote Car Guy, over and out.